Welcome back everybody, this is Moto Saka 7. I just installed stock grips on my 2019 Yamaha R1. In this video, I'll show you the installation. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's proceed with the installation. Here's a quick look at the stock grips. In the pack, I got the tank grips in the side. Um, I ordered the center tank separately. So this came separately, the center tank came separately from the pack. Good instructions detailing how to put it on. Okay, let's go install the pads. First thing we gotta do, we gotta clean the surface. I'm using regular glass cleaner. Get all the oil off. The pads are gonna go here and they're gonna go up here. In the center as well. Do the same thing to the other side. The pads have writing. So if the writing is up, you're in the correct side. Because if you go to the other side of the tank, you're going to have to flip it over. It's not going to fit. So this is going to come like this. If you're going to do any trimming, we have to do it now. That actually looks pretty good. And this lower piece goes right there. Okay. Let's start with this easier piece. Then we'll go to the one up on the tank. First thing we gotta do is heat up this area and heat up the pad so it's pliable so we can stick it on there really easily. So this peak is right there. That looks good. This is almost to the very edge. Take it off a little bit, not all the way. Let's set this corner up first. Get all the air out as possible. I should push it down and towards the back. That's right at the edge. Clean that tank one last time. Get any fingerprints that I got on there. Same thing with this one. Get an idea how far back you need to be. And this one fits the tank right. So I need to be at the almost very edge where this curvature begins. That's where I need to start. Remember, this has to be at the very edge. Let's kind of start and see where this is going to end up. That looks, that looks good. Get all the bubbles out. Now this one is clear, so you can actually see it's sticking to the tank. This one here was, was opaque, was we couldn't see through it. Now I heard you can use a tennis ball if I don't use your finger. It's kind of hard to use a squeegee on this because of this little, you know, the grip area is a little volcanoes there. I'm just using my fingers, pushing it in. One thing nice about this clear, you can still see the blue, the color of the tank. I really like this Yamaha Blue. Now the manufacturer recommends that once you put this on, you have to leave it alone for 24 hours for the adhesive to stick properly. Take your time with this. No reason to rust. It's going on pretty quickly, pretty simple. I'm trying to make sure I get all the bubbles out. This is going to give us nice grip and we're writing. Th 
that one I'm pretty well no trimming the only one that I'm second guessing is this one here is at the very edge one reason why I say that because if dirt gets underneath this I might peel up but I got it down pretty well let's do the same thing to the other side then we'll do the center tank in a moment So get the top centered. I'm gonna push the bottom down. I'm, I'm using this row and this row centered with the line in here. That's, that's what I'm using to guide. Sometimes when you try to be too careful and make more mistakes, it's easier to just put it down and see how that comes up or how it comes out, as to say. Let's look at the R6 real quick. See the difference between the R6 and this one. So the R6 is five pieces as well. This came as a, as a kit. And this is from tech spec. See that zoom in right there. Front guide in it. The company's from tech spec. This is rubber here. One piece here, here. Here's what a tank right here, the center tank looks like. And the other side. This works really well too. I got it on, it's really well. A lot of surface area here. That's one thing important is the surface area. No buyer's remorse, but this was more expensive. I didn't know this existed. I learned this when I went to the track and I saw guys have them like, what is that? I've never seen that before. So you just, I just didn't know this existed and um, I tried it on my R1 and I actually kind of like it from a distance you can kind of see the blue is still there it's not hiding the blue okay if you like what to see give me a thumbs up subscribe there's more modifications coming to this R1 Moto Saga 7 until next time